Um, nothing bad will happen if I play with these, right? No. This is just where, like, the servants' quarters were. Trying to make some hot beat, but it's not working. I'm just not good at making hot beats. First four, first four plan. There's a greenhouse. Yep, that's that's oh, past yeah, that's the door. Oh yeah, that's that area. I, yeah, okay. We're gonna get study library there. stairs to basement. Oh, it doesn't show the secret passage. We, we'll get that eventually, too. Some people actually miss that. Dave, what are you doing? Sorry, it's something that an idiot would put on their luggage, so I figured that might have been it. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, real quick, Gabe. Pause. Stand right there. Turn, like, going into the door. Go straight and to the right of the wood, of the logs of wood. Do I? Yeah, you can pick it up. I think it's, um, there might be something else in that room, but I don't remember. <sighs> Look how old it is. I. What does that say? What? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Wish we Boy, still had open text. Broken. What? Yeah. Only my game wasn't broken. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's everything in there? Yeah. So now we can go back the other way. Why wasn't I allowed to come in here before? Because this is the way we're supposed to go. I thought we were supposed to go to the attic. We are. We're making our way. Uptown. Hey Sam, I'm writing after to this. you from from Motama Falls. Mo, Mo, no, I don't know. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you're you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you are coming. What? Here you come. What? Oh, it's Lonnie. Yep. But still, what the f- What? They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. So that has a little bit of a double meaning, obviously. Don't be gay, is what she's saying. Interesting. So this is not what I thought this game would be like. What did you think it would be? I don't know. Not as gay. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everyone in the hall th thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral costumes. <laughs> peripheral costumes. That's Skeletons not all and devils. The same thing. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. 
That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girl on stage was just so loud and real and awesome, and everyone was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Women outlaws. This will show you who runs things around this joint. She's tougher in a wild Mustang. No female is going to tell me. Yark. Yark. Okay. <laughs> this one's for you, Grossman. That's actually good. Had enough? The great something fellow riot of 95. Heard enough? Kicking against the patriarchy? Girls to the front? So the black and white version of that? And they call it a, z a zine because they just call it magazine zines because it's the 90s. <laughs> Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind in this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSelda was a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that the defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker is retaliation for, for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in the incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your walker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring unwatched attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have uh, to lie about who okay. she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. Don't go there yet. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. That, um, upstairs, the stairs, by the way, leads to the guest uh, room. I know where it is. Yeah, I can tell. the guest room. But there's really no reason to go up there, so just go the other way. Guess. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Glitches! And now we're in the part of the house that was locked off! So go and lock the door real quick so we can, like, easy peasy get. Yeah, gonna, that's the, the lights are off. I'm afraid of the boogeyman! You're in a darker area now! Oh shit, you're right. Run, 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 run! Is that door? I go the wrong way. Yeah, Fuck. you going a little too far, kid. Turn the lights on. Go back. Jesus Christ, Guys, you went too right far. Right I'm unlocking this door. Yeah. There's stuff over here also. You turn on the light. You told me to unlock it first. Yeah, turn on the light. Okay, there you go. It's just a Spanish book. We gotta get rid of that. What does that say? Call Daniel back something that I can't... He wants his game back, okay. Alright, here, hold on. I get to read Sam. Remember? I'm Sam. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you like you're... Like, because you're not part of a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Huh, it's okay. She's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyle. Style. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Dawn, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with her? Live with your mom in Florida? <laughs> That's pretty clear. <laughs> Order of promotion. Uh, I'm just going to let them read that. I'll ho hold it on screen for a minute. You can pause it. It's it really That's just doesn't... um the mom getting promoted. Yes, yeah. I know. I I figure that anyone who wants to know the exact wording. Hold on, go back up. Can With the um folder closed? I already read it. The scribe. Oh, I didn't see this. Yeah. Investigating team visits camp who specializes in adolescent overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality. Huh. Voice thing after you drop this. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about oh, things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen oh, if they did? The you know dad's what joke light? about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder That's where he'd want to send me. There you go. Earth, wind, Earth, wind and fire. Put that back. Do not care. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets to EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket, so I thought you might be interested in more something than clearing brush in the freezing rain. Intre right? I don't know. It's Rich hitting on Mom. Rich hitting on Jan. Disappointing referral for Samantha. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension for four days. Sam, since you have refused this. to, since, Sam, since you have refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in waiting so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month for, from social and telephone. Privileges, privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that where you're coming from, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your something something clues while Lonnie is at the house. Uh, this is the last word of the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. Of course I knew. I've known since, like, she -Ra. I'm not reading that. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. So, I feel bad for Sammy.
Samantha and the voice Angela. thing after this. Turn off the um cassette player. Yeah, I'm just gonna put text on screen saying what this actually says. So future Dave, have fun. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for some reason, I almost believed him. Look on the fridge. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger on Bothell Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday is 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, me and Mrs. Jonathan Boy request the honor of your presence in the marriage of their daughter. Sunday, the 4th of June, 1919. This is the 4th, so this was two days ago? Mm hmm And they couldn't make it back for me to get home, who they haven't seen in over a year? They didn't go to the wedding. No, but it's... The, whatever. Um, more stuff about the position. Yeah, it's just congratulating. Look at the map. Or the calendar, I mean. Not the map. See, considering I threw literally everything on the ground that I could, the kitchen was a fucking mess by the time I was done with it. Okay, what are you talking the about? The calendar. To your right. To your right. There you go. Anniversary trip? Really? They had already planned this and booked it. You, last minute, came on the 6th. Like, they didn't even know you were coming home. Like, I don't think they know you're at home right now. Because you called and they never got your message because they were already gone. What a bunch of dicks. That's different. Yeah, read the, um, the note. Well, okay, just basically the Unknown Dimension publishers republished his works. The books he'd released. The, um, so the first two. I figured that's how that was going to work. Yeah. There's nothing else in here, so go into the garage. Grab the... Oh, yeah. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd to 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. Four dinner hours on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. No wonder there's so much pizza. Pick up in this the beret house. that's on the bike. There's a voice thing when you pick it up. Right there. I didn't realize that was supposed to be a beret. It's not a beret, but it's like a I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, Not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you, you have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be... gone. Just gone. So, while that was playing, I added text to the screen so that was more legible. Don't leave. Don't leave. And Go back. I will say that uh, they are dirty, and I love them. Pick up, um, pick up something from the recycling bin. Like a can or something. Turn the light on. Like, just one of the cans, though. Pick up. Pick it up and hold it, Gabe. Keep it. Okay, walk over to the light switch. Look up. 
You see the little purple thing? Try to hit that off. There you go. Take the little purple thing. Go to Sam's room. This is convoluted. It's an Easter egg. That is not the way to Sam's right. room. Damn, I did it again. Oops, I did, did it again. again. I played with your card. I played with this game. game. I always get lost in the game, though. Minute, 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 minute.